Hello. Now, what I want to do in this video is to create, is to model this system, to create a mathematical model of this system in LabVIEW. Now, the state space model is practically what I'm going to use. So, I created a video earlier on um, where the differential equation, where I modeled the differential equation in LabVIEW and ran the simulation for that. And I also ran the simulation for um, the um, transfer function. So what I just will really will be doing is convert this into a, um, as in this transfer function, I've gotten the state space representation for this particular system and now I just simply want to include that in the previous model that we had. So this was the previous model that we had and this, if you watch the other video, the previous video that I did, you will see that this is what we had at the end of that. Now all I'm simply going to do is now create the, as in add a state, the state space representation to this particular video. Now I happen to know that for the state space representation, or oh, okay, let me go ahead and add the block first of all. Um, control and simulation, simulation, continuous time linear systems. And this time I'll pick um, state space. So I'll put state space here on the block. I'll just right click and uh, remove the label like I did for all the others. I'll enlarge this a little bit, not because I need to, but just so that it's a little visible. Now I'll double click on it and now it gives me the various parameters that I want to set. Okay, so it, in a moment to be done. Okay, so now we have our A, our B, our C and our D. So what I want to do is to go ahead and enter the parameters. So I have minus three. Um, so just give me one moment. Now, one option is to make this a terminal. I want to make a terminal, so I have two states. Because it's two states, now I have um, the two by two system. Um, one input, one output is fine. So we have minus three, minus two. Um, this will be one, and this will be um, zero. Then for my input, one zero is fine. For my um, output matrix, this will be zero and three. And then D as zero is fine, okay. so. This is the model that we now have in here. And this is just the state based representation of this transfer function, really. If you um, check the phase variable form, you find that it comes out to be this. The numerator simply comes over there. Your denominator, negative three, and then negative two. Um, so really, that, this is our model. So I'll click on OK, and um, I'll copy this once again and paste this over here so we can view the output of the state space model. Again, this is not necessary, but in this particular case, I'm just simply doing this so that, um, so I just want to make sure I chose the right output over there. Yeah, so that's fine. So I'm um, just doing this so that it's clear that it's the same system we're modeling. One is a differential equation model, the other is a transfer function model. This third one is the state space model. Really, all I did once again was right click come to control and simulation, on that simulation, continuous time linear system, pick state space. Then you double click on that and now you can modify all the parameters. Select the number of states you have you um, need over here and then um, you can enter all of those. Okay, so we can go ahead and run this. Um, so let me just try to arrange um, the charts on my front panel just so that it's a little easier to see. Okay, so I can as well take off the plot legend, take off the plot legend, um, just so that it, I don't want to have to, well, let's expand this window just a little bit so that it's clear. Okay, take off the plot legend, and this is the output of the state space model. Okay, so I can go ahead and run this now, and the plot we see on the three of them should be just the same. So I go ahead and run this, and after a few moments it will run, and we'll see the plots on these three charts should be just the same, and that's effectively what we have. It's, it's just about the same. Um, you will notice, well, so it's, it's just about the same in each case. Now, something I didn't mention in the last video, let me just mention that here. If you right click on this dark, um, or if you right click on the box, back on the dark boundary, and go to configure simulation parameters, here you can get to set um, various things about this simulation, how things you want to run. For instance, the um, an ordinary differential equation solver, you could choose which solver it is you want to use. I'll leave this default. Initial time, final time, how do you want it to sim simulate? So I can say I want to start from 0 0.5, for example, and I want it to end at when time is eight seconds, okay? So I could do that, initial step size, and um, all this, so all this is just simply perfectly fine, and you can run, you can do all the settings as you want them. So I click on OK, and just go ahead and run this once again.
this time now if you notice you can see over here you see your plot actually doesn't start from zero but starts from 0 0.5 and notice it ends also at 8 even though the chart goes all the way to 10 but then the plot actually stops at 8 so you could use um, your configure simulation parameters to determine how you want your simulation to run thank you